हेलो माय डियर यंग एंड एनर्जेटिक फिजियोनॉमी अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू दीक्षा विदांतो यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम अवर टीचर नेहा मैम एंड टुडे आई हैव व्हाट द मेमोराइजेशन टेक्निक टू रिमेंबर द रे डायग्राम्स वी नो द रे डायग्राम्स आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट बट हाउ टू रिमेंबर दैट हाउ टू गेट गुड मार्क्स विद द रे डायग्राम्स इज अबाउट टुडे सेशन इन टुडे सेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग व्हाट इज कॉनकेव कॉनवेक्स मिरर लेंस sign convention standard rays all these concepts in just today's one session so let's enter to today's session so yeah these are the concepts that i am going to cover in today's video and this video will not be very lengthy very quickly we will recall all the concepts and we will remember it for our examination so let's move forward let's start without wasting the time so let me start with an idea to remember about concave mirror so let's start with mirrors okay so you should remember like that so first mirror after that lens in mirror concave mirror can be remembered with an example of a cave concave the name itself is telling i'm a cave like structure right how the cave is inward right curved inward our convex concave lens is also curved inward and the reflecting surface is also inward you can remember with this example or you can consider the moon the inner surface the face of the moon is nothing but concave and opposite to this is convex that is the outer surface the bulged surface clear concave cave like structure is concave bulged surface is convex i hope that is clear moving forward what we have concave mirror is a converging mirror what is meant by converging mirror the parallel rays which fall on concave mirror converge at a particular point called as focus right so hence this mirror is called as converging mirror reflecting surface is inward and converging mirror is concave clear so opposite to this diverging mirror is convex what happens if the parallel light rays fall on a convex mirror it gets diverged is this clear this is about convex mirror clear moving forward moving forward let's know about the standard incident rays what are these standard incident rays these rays are very important to draw our ray diagrams so i'm telling this here just remember parallel focus focus parallel center of curvature so focus and parallel are the friends when parallel rays come they meet at focus when the rays come from focus they meet parallelly let me explain you with the diagram you can see a ray passing incidenting parallelly to the principal axis right this line is nothing but it's a principal axis and the ray which is parallel to principal axis after refraction passes through the focus the ray which is incidenting which is coming through focus after refraction moves parallel right and the third ray which you can see no deviation the ray moving from center of curvature after refraction again it moves from center of curvature right so these are the standard incident rays that we should remember moving forward to the sign convention how to state the signs whether it is positive or negative simple consider your mathematical graph the x axis is just a positive x axis just you have to fix the incident ray along positive x axis that's all rest is done mathematical graph positive x axis any direction so we will be always measuring the direction from pole or optic center as called in the lens whenever you are measuring the distance in this way it is positive opposite to that negative upward positive and downward is negative that's all yeah simple that's all this is about the sign convention moving forward how to draw the ray diagrams in concave mirror in concave mirror we come across six ray diagrams when the object is at infinity you will be getting parallel rays 
and in standard incident rays we have learned that when parallel rays incident on a concave mirror they pass through focus so the image is formed here right the second one is image object beyond c when the object is beyond c consider one parallel line which is passing through focus and you can consider another line okay which is passing through focus so i can draw this here another line passing through center of curvature without deviation so image is formed between c and f i hope you are getting the point yes moving forward object between c and f parallel focus the one parallel moves from the focus the which is moving through focus okay the ray moving through focus passes parallelly yes so this is about the ray diagram and how to remember the points right so let's be quick let's not stretch this video very lengthy so let's be quick so in the convex concave mirror okay in concave mirror in the five conditions you will be getting real and inverted image because the rays are actually meeting there when the object is at infinity image is at focus when object is beyond c image is between c and f when the object is at c you'll get the image at c right just reciprocal object between c and f image at beyond c when object is at focus image is at infinity you can see the parallel combination right they relate to each other and the special condition is our sixth ray diagram that is when object is very near to the mirror that is between focus and pole you will be getting virtual erect image over here is that clear yes got the point so by this diagram this by this picture you can remember concave mirror ray diagrams now what about the image size image size starts here with a point size it increases as we go along the circle so i have put here a dinosaur to represent image size is increasing it is big clear point size diminished same size large enlarged and here you will be getting large image clear moving forward convex mirror what about convex mirror in convex mirror when object is at infinity parallel ray image so here there is divergence when you trace back the lines okay we know that concave mirror diverges the light ray when you trace back them you get the image at focus one condition when it is between infinity and pole you will be getting again a diminished virtual image that is you can see here that is between pole and focus how to remember this ma'am yeah how to remember this so infinity when the object is at infinity you get the image at focus we know this already right so just add here pole and add here pole that's all infinity to pole when object is between infinity and pole you'll get the image between focus and pole simple you can remember this add the pole to this you'll get the second condition moving forward about lens convex lens is a converging lens and concave lens is a diverging lens now you can see that both concave and convex have exchanged their role in the mirror condition concave was converging convex was diverging when they came to lens they got interchanged that is we, what we can see here moving forward how the image is formed in convex lens similar to the concave mirror we'll get six ray diagrams and you can draw that as we draw concave mirror ray diagrams the only difference is instead of center of curvature we'll be using 2f instead of pole we'll be using optic center that's all so again you can remember by the chat 
infinity focus beyond 2 year between year find 2 year at 2 year at 2 year when object is between focus and optic center you will be getting virtual and direct image otherwise it's real and inverted moving forward concave lens so concave lens again infinity focus infinity optic center optic center focus just you have to add here optic center that's the concept clear yeah at the conclusion i want to give you some points like concave mirror in all we in always it may be concave mirror or concave lens focal length will be negative remember this point it will help to solve the numericals moving forward converging when it was it comes to mirror converging is concave and diverging is convex converging lens is convex and diverging lens is concave so don't get confused with these terms let's be clear right is that done so yeah this was about a quick video to move for to memorize the ray diagrams and once to recall them all i hope this video helped you so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it if you have liked it don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet just go and subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching this video let's meet again in the next session bye